Nobody wants to go to Venus. If you ask me why, because the atmospheric conditions of the planet are not so life friendly. First, Venus's atmosphere is full of poisonous sulfur dioxide gas, and it's so windy out there, about 220 miles per hour. But if we manage to survive these conditions, then it rains sulfuric acid there. But fortunately, the atmospheric temperature of planet is so high that the rain vaporizes in the midair. And instead of producing acidic rain, it produces acidic haze. The surface temperature of the planet is about 870 degree Fahrenheit, which is more than enough to melt lead. And by the time you reach the surface of planet, the atmospheric pressure becomes 92 times than that of Earth. Again, these conditions are not so life friendly. So, why does India is planning to go to Venus? You probably might have already heard about discovery of life on Venus recently. But if you haven't, then let me explain. In September 2020, a group of astronauts found huge traces of phosphine on Venus, which is generated only with the help of biological elements. This indicates that there could have been life existed on Venus at some point of time. But this is not why India is planning to go to Venus. They announced their plan even before the discovery of phosphine on the planet. India is planning to send an orbital called as Shukriyan to Venus for studying its atmosphere. If you have noticed, most of Indian exploratory missions will have the word Yan in it. For example, Chandrayaan, Mangalyaan, or the most recent one, Gaganyaan, etc. The word Yan means ship, and the word before it either means the name of the planet or mission. So Shukriyan means ship for Venus. The exact date of launch is not clear, but presently India is collaborating with Japan's JAXA for studying the planet. JAXA has already sent its orbiter, Akatsuki, around Venus. But maybe because of data security, ISRO wants its own orbiter around the planet. I wonder if Huawei hasn't already sent their orbiter to Venus. But jokes aside, previously Soviet Russians have tried sending unmanned spacecrafts on the surface of the planet. But due to its harsh weather conditions, the longest one survived only for 20 minutes. Which is why so little is known about the planet. India's Shukriyan will just be orbiting around the planet and will send the data back to Earth. If you wonder, despite of all such harsh environmental conditions, why we still are researching about the planet, then you have to understand that both Venus and Earth are similar in size and their position from Sun makes it suitable for life to survive. It's even believed that at some point of time, Venus's atmosphere was just like Earth's. But it became what it is today because of global warming. And guess who else is facing the problem of climate change now? So what exactly is Roy going to study there? First, they want to understand the atmospheric formation, evolution and history of Venus. Secondly, they want to study the surface of Venus. And the last, study of atmospheric interaction with solar radiations. If we got all the necessary data, then we could understand how bad the effects of climate change here on Earth could be. So if you are still aren't thinking about the effects of excessive uses of energy, then this might be the right time to think about it. Because it might not be clear if we could begin the multiplanetary spaces or not, but it's close to clear that if we continue the way we are consuming Earth's resources, then it won't be long to turn Earth into Venus. Comment down what we can do to save Earth from global warming. Again, if you like the video, please give you a thumbs up for me. And if you want more such exciting news, then just subscribe to the channel. Now, signing out for the time. See you in the next one.